Hello from Seoul. How much time do you think you need to prepare a delicious dinner? An hour or two? If it takes that much time on a weeknight, you'd rather eat out or get takeout, right? Right? But don't worry about it. With me, all you need is just 15 minutes. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. Alright, first of all, let's start with a super simple fried rice. What? You don't like fried rice because it's too oily or greasy? Don't worry about it. Since cabbage is good for your digestion, even though you're not a big fan of fried rice, you can't say no to this. For this, you will need some cabbage and cooked rice. That's it. But if I use only those two, you know our taste tester. She's gonna complain about that all day long. So to make it more nutritious and delicious, let's add some chicken breast, garlic, and green onions. For information, instead of chicken breast, you could also use any other protein. So just use what you have. That's the best. First, slice some cabbage. Not too thick, not too thin. And if you have some leftover veggies in your fridge, like bell pepper or carrot, bring them all and cut them into small pieces. You're gonna be more fancy and beautiful fried rice. Next, thinly slice 3 cloves of garlic and some green onions. We're gonna use the white parts to infuse our oil and green parts for garnish. So make sure to keep them separately, like this. This time, get yourself 150 grams of chicken breast and cut it into nice little cubes. Once that's done, put it in a mixing bowl and season with 1 teaspoon of soy sauce and a few shakes of black pepper. That's it! Couldn't be any easier, right? Now let's get cooking. In a wok or pan, add 1 tablespoon of oil and heat it over medium-high heat. Once it gets nice and hot, add our chicken, garlic, white parts of the green onions and cook for about 2 minutes. Once the chicken is nicely browned and our beautiful aromatics start to smell real nice, add the cabbage and give it a good stir for about 2 more minutes. Once the cabbage is slightly wilted, increase the heat to high and add 2 cups of cooked rice, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce and stir fry them all together for about 2 minutes. When every single grain of the rice is nicely coated, turn the heat off and add half a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil and give it a good mix. That's it! So simple, right? Alright, let's place it on a serving plate and top it up with some fried egg, green onions, and a generous amount of toasted sesame seeds. Alright, it's done. Let's call our taste tester. Claire? Mmm! Smells awesome! Let me taste it! Oh, babe! It's so Let's try it! Cheers! So simple ingredients, but super comforting and delicious. 이건 자기 말대로 평일 저녁 메뉴로도 너무 좋을 것 같은데 내 생각엔 말이야 도시락으로 최고일 것 같아. Pack your lunch with this fried rice. You're gonna love it so much. This time, I'm gonna try with egg yolk. This is gonna be a great sauce for this. Just cut it in half, like this. Just break it. It's not runny as I expected, but still gonna be good. Let's try. Mm -hmm. Works perfectly with the rice. It never betrays me. <laughs> so good. This time, with gochujang, your favorite Korean condiment, let's make some tuna cabbage rice bowl. This spicy gochujang will add a nice depth of flavor so you will see the magic that disappears soon. For this, you will need cabbage, canned tuna, onion, green onion, and some cooked rice. So simple, right? But if you could add some microgreens for a bit of color, it's gonna be more Instagram worthy. First, cut 400 grams of cabbage into nice bite-sized pieces and then slice half an onion. Once that's done, thinly slice some green onions. 
Again, please separate the whites and the greens. That's it. Now let's move on to the sauce. In a small container, add one and a half tablespoons of curry and chili paste, one tablespoon of curry and chili pepper flakes, one tablespoon of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of sugar, one tablespoon of mirin, half a tablespoon of minced garlic, and give it a good mix. Here, if you can't handle spicy food, skip the chili pepper flakes or reduce it. Otherwise, you will call my name in the bathroom the next day with an F word. Alright, it's cooking time. In a pan, add 1 tablespoon of oil and heat it over medium-high heat. Once it's heated, add the white parts of the green onions and make some green onion oil. Once you can smell the amazing aroma, throw in some cabbage, onion, and stir-fry them for about 3 minutes. When the cabbage starts softening, add 150 grams of canned tuna and the sauce. Now we're just gonna stir them around for about 3 minutes. Alright, let's turn the heat off and add a few shakes of black pepper and half a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. Now all we gotta do is place it over the rice and garnish it with some soft boiled egg, green onions, toasted sesame seeds, and microgreens. That's it! How does it look? It looks absolutely delicious, right? Alright, let's see how it tastes. Claire? Oh, Looks like a kimchi or something. Let's give it a go. Alright! Mmm, mmm, delicious. Mmm, 생긴 것만 김치 닮은 게 아니라 맛도 왜 우리 김치 볶은 김치 할때 가끔씩 돼지고기나 참치 캔 넣어가지고 막 볶잖아 딱 그런 맛이야. 근데 김치로 했었을 때보다 새콤한 맛이 좀 덜한데 세부리하고 맛있어. 음, 가삭가삭한 느낌도 강한데다가 참치랑 너무 잘 어울리네. 어, 이것도 비빔밥처럼 참기름 좀더 넣고 막 비벼서 먹어도. 괜찮을 것 같아. 너무 맛있을 것 같아. 난 확실히 좀 식감을 중시하는 사람이잖아. 양배추가 아삭아삭 씹힐 때그 매력이 더 느껴지는 것 같아. Cheers! 음! 나한텐 좀 마일드하다. 애기가 먹는 음식 같이. <웃음> 그런 것도 잘못 먹으면서 맵부심 있잖아. <웃음> Lastly, let's make an umami rice bowl with a bunch of mushrooms. And the best thing about this dish is it's served with samjang, one of your favorite condiments. So please give it a shot. Samjang will never let you down. For this, you will need mushroom, cabbage, onion, green onion, and some rice. But if mushrooms are not your thing and you want some high protein rice bowl, then feel free to change it. Beef, chicken, pork, or anything will work fine in this recipe. First, get yourself some mushrooms and cut them into nice bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna be using 3 shiitake mushrooms and 80 grams of oyster mushrooms. What? You can't get these? Don't worry about it. Inoki mushrooms, king oyster mushrooms, everything will come out fantastic. So try it in many different ways, but not the random mushrooms from your backyard. This time, thinly slice some cabbage. We're gonna need about 2 cups and slice a quarter of an onion. Lastly, get yourself some green onions and cut them into long strips. About 2 inches will be perfect. And for a prettier presentation, don't forget to slice them for garnish. Now let's make the samjang sauce for your rice bowl. In a small container, add 2 tablespoons of curry and soybean paste, half a tablespoon of curry and chili paste, half a tablespoon of curry and chili pepper flakes, half a tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, half a tablespoon of corn syrup, half a tablespoon of mirin, half a tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds, and give it a good mix. Trust me, this samjang sauce will boost up the flavor and make it more perfect. Alright, we're set. Let's get cooking. In a pan, add 1 tablespoon of oil and heat it over medium-high heat. Once it's heated, add 1 tablespoon of minced garlic and make some garlic oil. When the garlic becomes nice and fragrant, throw in our onion, cabbage, and add some salt and pepper to taste. After 1 minute, add a bunch of mushrooms and stir them around for another 2-3 to three minutes. When they're slightly wilted, add 1 teaspoon of soy sauce and mix them all together. 
This teeny tiny amount of soy sauce will add a nice fragrance to the mushrooms, so you're gonna love it so much. Alright, let's turn the heat off and add some green onions and give it a good mix. For information, if you want some extra kick, you can add some fresh chili here. Trust me, that little bit of the extra kick will bring it to the next level. Alright, it's time to assemble. Let's get some rice into a bowl and add a good amount of cabbage and mushrooms and top it up with some green onions, samjang sauce, and toasted sesame seeds. That's it! It's really really simple, right? Alright, let's score our taste tester! Claire? Wow! It looks like a beautiful flower! Is it just me? Mmm! This is Wow! It's delicious! That's why I love stocky mushrooms. Mm, so good. 버섯이랑 양배추랑 잘 올려서 이 중요한 쌈장을 놓치지 말고 먹어야겠어. You guys know we love samjang, right? Ready? Mmm, 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 mmm. 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 You gotta mix everything together, just like bibimbap. Just like this! <laughs> Trust me, it tastes way better. I know it's hard to believe, but it tastes way better. Cheers! Mmm! It's amazing! Get a drink, guys! I'm going to be a brain Brainstorm! <laughs> Today, I showed you three cabbage recipes that you can make it in under 15 minutes. How was it? They're all quick and easy and delicious, right? So pick one of those recipes and try it. Even on a busy weeknight with these bad boys, you will have no problem preparing dinner for yourself or your family. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.